Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Si Ying with Xinhua News Agency. We are now reporting from Zhongshan in South China's Guangdong province. The city has a long history, beautiful scenery, lovely people. And it is also famous for its Chinese cuisine with Cantonese style. And in today's live, we are so happy to have two guests joining us today. It's Sel Selma and Angie. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Selma. Could you introduce yourself to our sure. audience? Hi, everyone. My name is Selma, and I've been living in Junction for three years now. But the first time visiting this amazing factory. And my first time here. Hi, my name is Angie. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm from Boston. I'm visiting my sister. Here, this is my first time visiting the factory, trying the cookies. And Zhongshan in general, <laughs> yes. Yeah, in general, and it's so nice. And uh, Angie, I heard like you are visiting here. Yes. So have you ever considered bring some gifts or souvenirs back home after visiting here? Well, that's my favorite part of <laughs> visiting, yes, absolutely. Do you have any idea of what to buy or something? Well, I'm not sure. I would maybe like to try a cookie. <laughs> oh yeah, cookie here's one. my advice. Try this one. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Or <laughs> that little, little cookie. Hi! <laughs> so let's go. Let's have a... So I will, today I will take you guys to explore the fascinating story behind this little perfect. Chinese traditional cookies. Thank you and so to much. find out the story behind it. Yes. So let's go. Sure. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Hi! I'm not an expert, but I do find someone to help me out. So this is Mr. Zhang. Uh, he is the chairman of the company. Actually, this company today we are visiting has a history of more than 100 years old. Wow. So Mr. Zhang, Zhang Xiang, Zhang Xiangsheng, you're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome to Zhangxiangyuan. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, Zhang Xiangsheng, can you please introduce our company's history? Yes, it can. So Zhangxiangyuan has already been in the past 100 years. 啊，它是一九一八年就创始，嗯，那么在一百年来的一直是无断代的传承，嗯，那么每一个时期，绝香园都能够在经济社会发展的前列啊，所以说非常难得的一个无断代传承的百年老店，嗯 ，So uh as we are working here, the company was is established in 1918, so this year marks the 105th anniversary of this year. 嗯，这些都是产品的展示吗？对，那么这些是我们在不同时期的一些包装。嗯，那么透过这些包装，就可以看到一些历史的痕迹，历史的一个呃当时的一个发展的过程。嗯，啊，你比如这个是我们最早的。These are the different products during different times. Yeah. This is in back in eighties, so you can see the yeah, box. Yeah, the is it the original box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah, original box. Yeah, it's a true. Yeah, this is very. Nineteen eighty-six. This box has been thirty years old. Ah, this is older than you, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this area we call recreate the Chinese cuisine. Recreate the old times mm -hmm. when the almond cookies were uh, made and mm -hmm. sold. You can tell the different, different like uh, the containers yeah. of sugar, oil, and like the mung bean powder and the, the molds for making mm -hmm. the, uh, the the almond cookies. The shapes. Yeah, the yeah. shapes. The, the big one up yeah, there with the, the fish. Shape, okay. Yeah. I think that the other one. Uh, this is more than 50 years. More than 50 years. Yeah, that makes sense. Really nice. Because all of them are really different, like deep, shallow, different shapes, different sizes. Yeah. Are these handmade and carved from the wood? Yes. yes. Wow. This, the making skill of this almond cookies, mm -hmm. um, it was listed in the in Chinese, in, uh, the Guangzhou Intangible Her Cultural Heritage oh, wow. in 2009. Mm -hmm. so, That's amazing. Can tell this cookie is not only a food or snacks, but also a part of the history, really. Exactly. Yes. And we can have a look at this one. So okay. uh, this is you can see the different shapes of the molds here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 还是, mm. 对, okay. oh, like a heart. So, yeah, like a heart thing. Yeah. I like this one. Like the, it's kind of like a tear shape. I like the big one, the, the fish. Mm -hmm, the fish one. There is a process of making the almond cookies. Oh. And there's in by hand. Mm -hmm. here, and there are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven steps. 
and later we would do the cookings ourselves. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> Here's the thing. And you do know there is a there is a almond cookie day in United States uh, in April nine or eight. Wow. So that day is a Chinese almond cookie celebrated to yeah, celebrate, to celebrate these cookies. the almond cookies wow. because it's, it's so popular and it so it's a worldwide so tradition. Yes. It's not exactly. just yeah. Oh. So let's go to okay. the uh, DIY area. <laughs> 好,我来先做一遍。这是我们在做杏仁饼的最主要的一个工具,叫饼膜。第三个就是刮刀。那么我们在做饼的时候呢,就把我们的工具放在这里。那么这些粉呢,是就刚才讲的,发芽绿豆
What do you eat with it? It's just like you eat it alone, like with tea? Yeah, Cookies I think and, it's mm -hmm. really tea. tea is oh, no, just like this. I'm already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Literally perfect. Perfect cookies. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing to have. You don't really often get opportunity to be involved like intimately in the process of making something like this. So it definitely is amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing to be part of this experience. I, I and I can feel the history of it. <laughs> like all the people that made it throughout the years. Yeah. Because it started mm -hmm. like 1980, 18 yeah. or 18, something. 18, 18, 18, 18 actually, yeah. So a lot of people made it throughout the years, throughout the history. So in I'm, the same exact I'm way they're making to it make today. It now in 2023, when I see all of these people like mm -hmm. making it for years and decades, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing experience for me. <laughs> Some like traditional cookies of our own, of, of course, our own yeah. like, culture. But nothing actually similar to this because it's like a dry flour molded and baked. I don't yeah, think it's, like, really, a, it's fun. really unique. I think. There's it's not much molding, I think, going on. But I think mm. almost every country in the world, of course, has something traditional. But this is like really special because it's been the same process for over 100 years. So mm -hmm. it's definitely amazing to be a small part of the history and just like by touching and making it a little bit. And still, it's so hard to preserve the taste of it for so many years. But I guess they are the same improving as they it, were yes. in, the, in the beginning. Improving so, yeah. the taste, but still keeping them the same Original and exactly and the part of the heritage. So, yes, definitely beautiful experience. Thank you for bringing us here. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the uh, cafe here. You can mm -hmm. see a lot of oven here. And I think we can come a little bit closer. And these are the biscuit we made. Oh. You made. <laughs> and it's not, um, you cannot eat right now. It needs to bake, bake. and cooling, mm -hmm. so uh, you can tell how the modern technology can can do the baking, the baking things here. But these are bakes, right? This here. It's another cook. Another, another type of, cookie, type of cookies. Type of cookies. Mm -hmm. So, what type of procedures did they use before to bake them? I saw like the um, stone ovens. I think yeah. it was that on the pictures. I think so. Like the, the big stone, stone with ovens fire. with fire, with the actual mm. fire. Yes. But you need to. Very careful. Of course. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, moderates of the fire, like how is, is it too too much or too. Yeah, exactly. Little. Don't take us there to bake. <laughs> We're not good with fire. We'll just make them and mold them. <laughs> this area is for the uh, catering. So you can, after doing your own cookies, you can have some snacks here. Mm -hmm. Or take some souvenirs with yeah. you. <laughs> it really is a beautiful museum. I like that it begins with history and kind of takes you into the culture, the history, the whole process of making it. It's a journey. Then you get to make it and then you get to sit down and try it with your family and friends. So it is, it is definitely a unique experience. So if you're in Junction, definitely make sure to come and visit. And you can tell the decoration style. I saw the, the yes, the, the lights here, they're all shaped like cookies. <laughs> it's really <laughs> a chandelier. Every detail like is really well thought out of. And the little bow over there, what is it about? It's like a gift yeah. sort of shape. You yeah, must buy some, mm -hmm. like the gift, gift bags yeah. for yeah. your friends. The birthday cookies, yes. <laughs> Even the chairs are shaped like cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's like mooncakes. Even the couches, like every little detail is really well put together just yes. to make it like beautiful and unique experience for you. So the best part of every tour, especially when you're touring factories like this, that I make the food. cookie factories. Exactly, <laughs> it's the tasting the food and tasting the cookies. So Eating. now we have here different flavors. We have some sweet ones, mm. mini versions of the ones we made and savory ones. So let's definitely try our yeah. these. I'll I already had first. a little bit. Mm. Really amazing. It smells so good. It's so tasty. Mm. I love I this wish one. you could smell this because they really smell delicious and they're equally tasty when you actually have them. And the tiny ones remind me so much of the biscuits we have back home that are really similar really? in texture and in shape. But these definitely carry the taste of history, mm. as we mentioned before. We have something similar back home but it's nothing like this. This is really unique. And you can taste the, the history. Definitely. And the tradition, the culture. 
I think the most important part is the way of making, mm -hmm. like with the molds and the feelings and like, love. Like you really have to put the love into every little mold that you make to get them to taste like this. So these are let's bring perfect. this home. Of course, <laughs> pack it up, all of them, and buying like <laughs> gifts at the gift station. It's really happy to see that like more these time kind of time honored brands mm -hmm. be kind of uh, bringing something new. Yes, definitely. To attract more young people. It is new, like you can definitely feel the and see the elements of traditional Chinese style, like the big round family tables and for the sharing, but still it's modern, like the little mooncake chairs, the colors, the space, like the everything is really, exactly, yeah. everything is really modern, but with every element. I feel just like cookies, like they've been around for so long, like over a hundred years, they have the traditional elements they had in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But over time, they adapted, they modernized, they use new technologies, new materials. So it's, it's really something incredible, definitely. It's a place to visit, definitely. definitely. Yes. Yeah. And here is, a, I think it's a shopping area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually nowadays, you know, many Chinese companies, they promote their products online mm -hmm. throughout the e-commerce. Yeah. So this company did it as well. You mm -hmm. can place order online and maybe you can send to your friends overseas. Oh, that's and amazing. Yeah, that's a very good way to, it definitely to, know, is. to know it, to know the, like the local Chinese dessert here. So these are all the different cookies that they're um, making. Yeah, I think they developed a lot of new products here. Like this one, this one is the thing we made here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Made here. <laughs> and this one is the uh, the sesame. Sesame. Yeah, okay, I love those. sesame. Yes, and that's one of my favorites. Almond biscuit, and I think this one is with the, Egg yolk. the nuts. Yeah, I think it's with the walnuts. Oh, we have similar like these in my country, like mm -hmm. the small, flaky ones. Yeah, I think yeah. it's one of the traditional cookies. Just the mm -hmm. cookies. Yes. They're just the cookies. But they're really delicious, like with a cup of tea. <laughs> maybe with a little Chinese Cantonese style. And this one is very another very famous Cantonese dessert. It's called chicken biscuit. Oh, okay. It's a little bit salty, but a little bit uh, sweet. So you can feel the salt, mm -hmm. salty like, yeah. and the sweet at the same time. And like a little sauces. savory <laughs> cookie. Yeah. It's amazing. A lot of different tastes. Like they really have a lot of options. And what are these? Um, like the little ones. This is like the um, the um, like the sauce or no, like are the they making or it or it's just here for? Um, yeah, they are making it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so they develop a lot of like new things, different here. products. Yeah. So I, I guess this as well. This is the um the Chinese like the really jelly. Powder. It's a jelly. Yeah. Chinese herbal jelly. That's amazing. <laughs> That's it's wow. really fun. I don't think I've ever seen this actually before. I've been in China for like five <laughs> oh, years. Really? You should try it. Definitely. <laughs> and we have here, and we also have here is the um, a lot of like almond cookies. This is the seaweed seaweed, seaweed thing, mm -hmm. and this is with the uh, rasma. Um, things with flower. Oh, with flower. Uh, charisma flowers. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And this is with the uh, traditional fat jaro, fat meat. Meat, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. with raw meat. Actually, this is the original one. Mm -hmm. It okay. is said that the uh, the cookies was made from a, uh, a servant in a big family to celebrate the birthday of uh, older people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since then, um, people start to do this thing. Um, for the celebration of the old and make it more often and for yeah. birthdays. And and guests. And, okay, mm -hmm. it's really nice. What's uh, this one with? Uh, I think that is it the red bean or no? I think it's the original flavor. Also original flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's the meat. Mm -hmm. So some of them have stuffing, but some of them don't. Yeah, right? Exactly. So like this one, it actually has stuffing inside, yeah, which the is fat. Fat. The fat. fat. Yeah, fat. And here's the the word that you taste the, exactly the same as a hundred years ago. That's mm. amazing. Since it's beautiful. This is this the uh, sea hi, hi. the flavor of the sea. I'm trying to guess like <laughs> on the like picture, but it's really <laughs> hard. <laughs> and these are like uh, packages of uh, different uh, cookies or? Yeah, you the can purple put ones. it together mm -hmm. as a gift. Maybe, gifts. Maybe, as you mentioned yeah. earlier in the opening, you mm -hmm. can bring one of these 
back home as a gift. Yeah, she's and never been here for Chinese New Year, so she doesn't know like how <laughs> extravagant the packaging yeah, can get, especially yeah, yeah. around the New Year. They're like big and golden and really beautiful. And people really imagine. pay close attention to details, which I love. Mm -hmm. Like these, these are beautiful and it, it does make amazing gift, gift to mm -hmm. someone. I actually know how to make yeah. this. Next time <laughs> yes. we can make it together. <laughs> this one I learned. Mm -hmm. So they also make them. Yeah. Zhongzi, right? Yeah. Did I say it correctly? Yeah. Zhongzi, exactly. Yeah. And these are beautiful packages. Yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. Do you have the similar things back in your country, your home? Oh, uh, I no, I don't think it's like this extravagant. It's more like, but Ooh. there is for like a traditional Depending. holidays of like Bayram, like and religious holidays, to, usually religious for, holidays for different re yes. religions. They then, have different yes. motifs of different religions because it's like a multicultural country. Yeah, where yeah. we're from, so. We follow our own culture as any other country yeah. and do things our own way, like a traditional cultural way. Yeah, actually from the perspective of the culture, like the food mm. represents or offers a unique way to, mm -hmm. to discover the, uh, the, uh, a city of country's Definitely, history. yes. As, I, I, I'm definitely sure your country or your cities have their own unique like food. Or mm -hmm. Food and style like of cooking and course. the taste and even the spices, everything contributes to, to one unique taste, yeah. definitely. It's something that brings friends and family together. Okay, it's a language of love, food. Yeah, exactly, yes. the language of love. Okay, I need to show this one, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at the dragon. Wow. And then when you turn around, it says 1918 yeah, on the side. Yeah, that's the year the company was mm -hmm. established. It's really, really gorgeous. And you know, the Chinese people love, love food. And they sometimes always think that food is a, a, an express of to express their feelings and mm -hmm. so it they, is they make food for their loved ones and their families so from today's um tour so how how about you guys feel about the, the, the definitely tour? like a part of family <laughs> I, I feel more closer to the chinese culture now uh -huh. because i've seen like a little part little detail of history of chinese people and food and everything and i know how special that is and i'm really honored to be here in a dress and everything and in a dress <laughs> yes <laughs> It is like the food is always like the best way to show someone like how much you appreciate them, how much you care about them. That's why every holiday, every country has right involves getting family together. Mm -hmm. And I think these cookies are just like perfect way to celebrate so many things at, at once. Like they make such a unique part of the history and part of the family. Like I, I can understand and see how it's like close to home. Yeah. <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> I got scared of sneeze. Oh. I'm so glad That's you really guys nice. enjoy it. Yes. It is. And thank, thank you, you for so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you so much. That's all for our today's live. And thank, thank you for you so watching much. and see you next time. Def Bye. And definitely Bye. come and visit. Bye. <laughs> Bye.